Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome back in our partner enablement video series. In this video, we will be going to talk about how you can discuss or how you can pitch in your hybrid security solution to the customer. Well, uh, this is the agenda of this video. We'll going to understand what is a hybrid security is and then we'll be going to walk through with the reference architecture, the recommendations, scalability and uh, security considerations and later on we're going to talk about what are the cost, con cost consideration is going to be. Let's quickly start with the introduction. So what is the security, right? Security is one of the most important aspect of uh, any architecture which you are designing, either it's on Azure, either it's on other clouds, either it's on on-premise. Particularly in a hybrid and a multi-cloud environment, a architecture built on a good security practice should be resilience to attack and provide the confidently integrity and availability. So the, the security is going to be a very important part when you are designing a solution for a customer or you are selling a solution to a customer. So you have to think about it in that way, right? And Microsoft Defender can be a one of the major product in that case, which can help you to, you know, monitor all the VMs, either it's on on-premise, either it's on Azure, either it's on the GCP, either it's on the AWS. So Defender can be help you to monitor all the systems, can help you to monitor the Azure VM and even the VMs hosted on the other cloud provider also, right? And that's a one product. Again, there's a one more product called a Sentinel, which is one of the same uh, product can help you to identify the data collections across different sources, including Azure on-premise and across the other clouds as well using the built-in connectors. Sentinel work to collect the data at cloud scale across all the user devices, application infrastructure from both on-premise and the multi-cloud. Now, as we know, when we are deploying or we are we are creating a solution for a customer, security is the one of the major components. And that something is always need to be in a solution when you are designing a solution or when you are having a discussion with the customer. So let's take an example where the customer say like he need to think about, he, he is not aware of what kind of security solution we have on a cloud and how you can protect my VM or my workload in Azure. That's where a Microsoft Cloud, a Microsoft Defender for Cloud can come in place and can help you to solve that problem from the customer. It can have the uh, the endpoint protection enabled on the VM. It can help uh, you to do the brute force attack prevention on the VM. Can can identify in case of any brute force attacks are happening. Can identify, you know, if there is the is the is the any 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 security issues with the VM or with the environment, it can help you to give the security scores as well. At the same time, Defender can help you to monitor all of your VMs on on-premise, on a GCP or on a AWS as well. Right? That's a one product. Now, what is the use case of Sentinel? Sentinel is the same product. It can help you to you know collect the data, collect the logs, analyze the logs, and accordingly can help you to you know, provide you the action you need to take on any unauthorized access or any attack happening inside the environment, right? So that's where a Sentinel can be a very good product to analyze uh, or kind of doing a SOC, uh, uh, SOC solution or, or providing a SOC to a customer. That's where it, the Sentinel is continuously collecting the, uh, the locks, continuously analyzing the locks and accordingly will going to give you the give you the output if there is any action need to be taken on those things so that's where uh, these two products can come in place when you're discussing it with the customer or when your customer is little bit worried about uh, uh little bit worried about the security or they want to have the security in place for their environment again both of them have their own cost defender have their own cost based on the resources what kind of resources you are going to protect and sentinel have their own courses based on how much data processing is going to be there. Although you do have uh, some sort of other uh, security uh, solutions also available like Key Vault, right? Like encryption, uh, host encryption, VM encryption, 
disk encryption which you can enable it on the solution or can have it in the solution when you are pitching it to the customer right these these components also can be included in terms of when you are talking about the security having the encryption enabled on the security having uh, the private endpoint enabled on the web app having the uh, the private endpoint enabled on the databases which can basically help you to you know to minimize the access of those uh, resources within the network right again uh, in this uh, specifically ppts or with this videos if i talk about we're going to only cover on the uh, on the on the on the security center or the sentinel but yeah you do have a bunch of other uh, products or other security options which you can put in for that we do have created a separate videos like for the vm encryption disk encryptions a uh, key vault uh key vault and and uh, enabling the encryption storage account all of those things we have covered it there is a link in the video please go ahead and check out those video if you want to go and have a deeper dive on that well let's talk about the reference architectures in the reference architecture you will see there is the multiple uh, uh cloud has been protected by microsoft defender for cloud at the same time it's also protecting it to the uh, other environment which is on the on-premise and that as well as the stack also yep so for protecting the aws gcp right you do have a option to create a collector or a proxy and the connector need to be created and then you can go ahead and install the the azure security center agents directly on the vm and they will be get secured with the security center or a microsoft defender for a cloud or what happened the security center will be going to analyze the 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 vms and accordingly will going to give you the output or the vulnerability assessment which you need to fix or the action need to be performed now let's quickly jump on the components as a part of the reference architecture the microsoft defender for cloud one of the advanced or unified security management platform that microsoft offer to all subscriptions defender for cloud is segmented as a cloud security posture management as well as cloud work cloud protection platform so it's cover your security posture management as well it's give you the vulnerability assessment it help you to do your security assessment it help you to do and give you the security score also at the same time it can help you to protect your workload also sentinel is one of the cloud native security information and event management uh, tool same and a security orchestration automatic response solution that use the advanced ai and security analytics to help you to detect hunt prevent and response to threat across your enterprise subscription and the solution so seam is the one of the very important part when you are talking about the security because ultimately the seam is the one who is going to do and providing the automated response from 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 all the attacks detection hunting the happening inside the environment azure stack azure stack is a one of the portfolio product uh, portfolio of the product and the extended version of azure services and capable to your environment of choice from your data center to your edge location or your remote system right fourth azure monitor one of the one of the uh, important uh, i can say uh, component when you're talking or, or implementing the defender for cloud because ultimately it's collect the log telemetry logs from the from from all the components like from the on premise or from the azure resource and management tools just like a defender and the automation and also push the log to the azure monitor log analytics workspace is one of the centralized location where all the logs from seam and uh, microsoft defender for cloud will be stored uh, next is log analytics agent is a one of the important uh, i can say uh, endpoint which is required to be on the install which which is required to be uh, installed on the vm because if you don't have a, your log analytics agent installed on the vm then uh, the 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 security center would not be able to collect the log but again when you installing a log analytic agent on the vm that's required a internet access right that's required a internet access to that specific vm to connect it with the with the with the cloud uh, microsoft defender for cloud that's where microsoft 
operational operation management suit gateway which is the OMS gateway come in place that's work as a proxy and in that case if you have a tons of VMs you no need to worry about having the access on that tons of VM you just need to have a one gateway and that gateway can have a one connection with the Microsoft Defender for cloud and rest of the VMs can directly report to the OMS gateway then you do have a on-premise network which is the one of the uh, the firewall configured and then you do have a on-premise windows and linux system in the architecture which can be protected and then you do a azure azure window azure uh, windows and uh, linux vm uh, on which microsoft defender uh, for cloud monitoring agent is installed let's talk about the recommendations so yep there is a few recommendations first uh, microsoft defender for cloud upgrade in the reference architecture uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud to monitor the on-premise systems, Azure VM and Azure monitoring resource and even hosted the VM in other cloud, cloud. To support this functionality, you need to have a standard version, right? That standard version is need to be there. If you are using the basic or free, we the, the all of this feature would not be available there. As I told you, if you are using uh, the standard version, there is the fees going to be and that's again based on the per resources phase. Customize log analytic workspace. Yep, Sentinel lead access to a log analytic workspace. In this scenario, you can't use the default uh, defender for uh, for cloud log analytic workspace with the Sentinel. You need to create a one customized workspace and data retention for a customized workspace is need to be based on the uh, workspace pricing tier. So these are the two recommend recommendations. Now let's talk about the scalability and the security considerations. First, let's talk about the scalability consideration. So Log, uh, the log analytic agent for for VM uh, for a VM is, is designed the way that I have a minimum impact on the performance of the VM and, uh, and the physical machine. So you don't need to worry about thinking about any kind of scalability. Like if there is any agent is going to do uh, like if, if the log analytic agent is performing a lot more operations, right? So we don't need to do any kind of scalability consideration in that case. Microsoft Defender for cloud operation process would not interfere with your normal operation processor. Instead, it passively monitor your deployment and provide your recommendation based on the security policy you have enabled. Security considerations. A security policy defines the set of controls that are recommended for resources within a specific subscription. In Microsoft Defender, you have a defined the policy for your Azure subscription according to your company security requirements and type of application or the data sensitivity of each subscription so these are the security and scalability consideration uh, cost considerations yep there is a few cost consideration microsoft defender standard here uh, microsoft monitoring workspace offer general uh, is going to be a cost consideration because ultimately you need to think about how much data you are going to save if your data retention is going to be high your pricing is going to be high you will be get charged for per gb data stored into the workspace third a sentinel is again a paid service and if you're enabling it in a customer environment it's going to be customer has to pay for it now let's move to the demo so in the demo i will be going to show you how your security center looks like and what are the information you can get directly from the security center so first you would be able to see how many resources or what are the security security secu score looks like for you for me uh, i don't have uh, uh, have the uh, microsoft defender for this uh, for enabled for this description for that what i need to go i need to go into the uh, into into here and i need to go into the subscription and from here we can enable what kind of plan we want to enable either you want to go with the enhance or either you want to go with the defender for all and then you would be able to see it's it's priced based on the resources and just need to click on enable all and that's it right and then you do have option to do, do the auto provisioning inside the settings where you can enable it if you really want to enable the log analytic automatically install on the vm vulnerability assessment on the vm all of these are can be doable and then you do have option to do the email notification send it to other people also if there is the any attack or or i can say any alerts has been triggered uh it can be integrated so if you really want to have uh, integrated with the ci cd that's something you can also do 
uh, if you're looking for any kind of workflow automation that's something you can do and you can really want to have a continue export of all the logs to to the event hub or the log analytic workspace that's something you can also do and at the same time you can take the advantage of security policies uh, which you can uh, assign and enable for the subscription let's say if you really want to do click on assign select the policies and enable it that's it that's what you need to do to enable this service on a subscription and once that is done you would be able to see how your overall uh, resources is going to looks like and then uh, you would be able to see if there is any upgrade is required any agent installation is required uh right and then in the recommendation you would be able to see what kind of recommendation is there uh security alerts will be under the security alerts you would be able to see inventory and then the security score is the one of the biggest uh, feature of the security center or microsoft defender for cloud which you can use and it will be able to give you what is your overall security score looks like at the same time if there is any uh, improvement or recommendations which can improve your security score you would be able to see under view recommendations here and then you do have option to uh, do the regulatory compliance for environment and workload protection firewall manager if you are running a firewall manager you would be able to see a firewall manager directly from the cloud for defender right and then at the same time that seam can be integrated with this uh, microsoft defender for cloud as well well that's it in the demo i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos uh, feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you